wish I could pull up the site now, but um, the thing about VLang, it has its own, uh, here we'll get to the main page, or the main GitHub. VLang it has a, a batteries included, like philosophy, okay? So this means, you know, it, it has a lot of things included. <laughs> uh, so it also has a built-in framework, you know, and um, it's called VWeb. So, and that's what we're gonna show today, VWeb. Now, what I'm doing here is, you're not gonna see, but, you know, any or very much documentation on this. I haven't, you know, seen any on the internet. So I just wanted to show this, because I know some new programmers are, you know, are interested in languages like VLang. So, you know, they always have examples. Okay, with VLang, they've done a very good job of doing this. And if you've played with any other programming languages, it's very um, <clears throat> you 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 can really understand VCode. It's very um, you know it's very understandable if you're coming from another language, especially if it's like Rust or Go. You know, basically, even on the site it says that if you know uh, Go, you know like eighty percent of V. Okay. And then also with VWeb, I don't know if they want to call it Web or VWeb. They also have a project forum, which is a, a forum, you know, play on the words. And from this, you can learn how to use the VWeb, um, you know, framework, you know, that's built into V. I just wanted to show you guys that for, for some reason, the VLang site is down now, so that's why I'm looking at. Uh, GitHub VLang. Okay. Yeah, see, something's going on there. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I messaged them on. I messaged them on the uh, Discord, and this is a good way to get help. Go to the VLang Discord. Um, okay, so let's get into it. I talked enough now. Okay, let's get into writing some code. Okay. So module. Okay, I got VWeb one up here. Module main, okay. So now we're gonna import VWeb. Okay. First thing you wanna do is put the the struct app. Uh, <clears throat> I mean the struct for the app together first. So struct app app and then it's VWeb dot I think it's context. Okay, then we'll make our main function. So, fn main, okay, well, let's put a port. Okay, so constant. Port equals, say 9,000, okay. Okay, so we're gonna do a print line just just so we have something to print out to the screen. Okay, uh, web server running. Okay, perfect. All right, so now we're gonna put vweb dot. I think it's run. Yeah, run. Nice app. And then. Port number, so port number. Okay. All right, and then when you want to go and um, all right, we're gonna say like the index, index dot, you know, like but for any of you guys that do web development, index dot HTML is usually the first. Well, it is the first site that uh, whenever you hit the the main, the the principal, you, you I mean uh, uh, the root of the web server. So we're gonna make an index so that and so I think it's mute app app and then we'll call this index index and it has to be public. Oh man, why'd it go up there? Okay, it has to be public. So pub fn and then is vweb 
this is what it's going to return result okay then in here we return app text so we'll just put it worked okay we should start all right so here's what we got all right all right so we'll run it uh what is this vy1 okay see running on port 9000 blah, blah, blah. okay web server running okay so let's get this so localhost port 9000 you can see it worked okay and that was the text we were going to turn it worked okay now we're going to create a uh, we're going to return an index.html let me close this let me shut this down all right so we'll put index.html index.html okay all right so for html Colon five. This was known as Zen coding. Okay, so it'll just pull up. If you put HTML, let me just do that again, just in case. HTML. HTML. God damn it. HTML. Colon five. And you press Tab. It'll give you all that. Okay, just a little tip for you. All right, and we'll say um, H1. It's supposed to go down here. I don't know why that did that. H1. <clears throat> And that's known as Zen, code, Zen coding. You put, or it used to be known as Zen, Zen coding. Um, there was a program called Emmet that started it. So that was the first one that I seen. And all you gotta do is type, you know, you type the tag H1 and then you press tab. Okay, so we'll put hello from index.html. Okay, perfect, we'll save that. And now we want to go into here. All we got to do is return vweb html. And put a put a dollar sign on there. Okay. So now let's run it. Okay, so we got that going and remember it's going to say hello from index HTML so let's go in here and let's refresh this hello from index HTML it's returning this this returning this file right here right okay perfect okay another thing I wanted to show you there's also a templating language in here okay so let's go back to this V web here let me just clear this out I hate looking at that Okay, and we'll put uh, we'll put S. I can't think of anything else. Okay, S. Uh, this is a variable. Okay, so we're gonna take this variable and we're going to put it out into the. Uh, what the hell did this happen here? Okay. I did just delete like that. Okay, and we're gonna put this out into the. Uh, so we'll put a, a page break so we have some separation. Get our tab. Okay, and then we'll put a. Um, we'll make this H three. Okay, and we'll put at S, and this will interpolate in this spot right here. So let's see what we got. Okay, so we're gonna run V Web again. Okay. And it's gonna put this as a variable. Okay. So you see how this is going from this S, you know, S which is in here, which is this is a variable. You can also do you can also do um 
arrays and you can do like a for loop okay so we'll just put words okay we'll put dog cat and we'll put monkey okay so in here we'll put a at four uh, WN words. Is that the name of it? Did I call it words? Yeah, words. And then we'll put a at end here. And now we can interpolate this, right? And we'll make this an unordered list. And every one will be a li. Okay. What the hell? Why, why did they go to license? That's that's crazy. Then coding. Somebody messed up. Okay, so we'll put this at W here. This will be a, bull, a bullet list. Okay, so we restart the server. Okay, and now we should have cat, dog, monkey in a list. Okay, so there we go. And there's also an if statement. And in this templating language, <clears throat> there's also there's also an if statement. Okay, so if show and then at end. Okay, so we'll put Okay, so before you would see hello from index. Okay. Now if I put show false, it will not show this hello from index because show is false. Okay. So let's go over this again. So this should disappear. There we go. Okay, now we're going to include some CSS. Okay, so you want to do this after the main function, after you have the web server running. So function, let's say mute app app. Okay, and it's going to be in it once. Okay. This is a built-in function. It's part of the light life cycle. Um, this will be ran immediately after one time after you know, you know, in the first run through. So what we want to do is put app dot handle static and right here. I just made an assets folder. You can see that I put main.css. What we're going to do is add some CSS to this, right? So we'll put assets. Okay, and that'll be this folder right here. And then we'll put false. Oh, false. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this index template that we have, right? So we have this index.html right here. So in here we have a I guess you want to call it a macro a CSS macro and this will make you this will this will uh, this will make like you know the link tag to the CSS file okay so we'll put assets slash you can see that the name of the file is main.css right here so main.css okay so let's compile that. Return type is result. Okay. All right. So I have to put vweb dot result. Okay. And that should handle it. At once. It's private. Okay, so it's got to be a public function. Okay. Um, 
missing return. Missing return. Hold on. Let me okay. Yeah, we don't need to return a result. Problem was, uh, <clears throat> the problem was that the uh, function was not public. Okay, so let's see if this compiles. Okay, compiles. All right, VWeb. One. Failed to listen. I must have another one running. We panicked, failed to listen. All right, let me stop. Getting an error. All right, I was getting an error, you know, when I, uh, when I tried to run the file because it's saying that port 9000, I guess, I guess one of the uh, processes, you know, stayed and I didn't kill it properly. If that happened, just type in netstat dash ln tp dash ln tp pipe grep dash w and then 9000 is the port I was looking for. So now you can see that there's no, you know, <clears throat> there's nothing running on 9000. So we should be good. All right. So let's try to compile this again. Oh, but before we do that, let me show you what the main.css is. Because this CSS file, all it's going to do, make the background, background black and all the text white. Okay? If you know anything about CSS. Very simple. I uh, plan on doing a more advanced tutorial. Uh, you know, do some project tutorials. Got a lot of things I want to do. But let's see what time permits. Okay, this is before. This is after right here, okay? So this is this, you know, we can go into the Chrome tools and you'll be able to see we'll inspect it, all right? And in the head, <clears throat> you'll see what it comes out to. It's including this main.css, you know, style sheet. That is actually this, uh, where the hell is it? Oh yeah, that's actually this macro right here that's making that happen, okay? And then, uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? Okay, yeah, it's just making that macro right there. That's perfect. All right, now we're going to return some JSON. Okay, so we'll call this, okay. You have to put this decorator up here.